Okay. Now, I, as you can see, I brought that leg down in here. There we go. And I'm going to bring it down back here. I tell you what, it is so good to be able to carve good basswood. I'm going to tell you. I've struggled sometimes. I remember as a first line carver, it was hard sometimes. I used to get some of the old bad basswood, and I tell you, I struggled, as I know a lot of you have. But that's part of learning how to carve, you know? Learning the good wood from the bad wood. And it's really not worth getting trash wood to carve with. Now, if you have to, I understand that. But, boy, it's just, it, it makes such a difference. And, like, uh, Alan was talking to me about... Uh, uh, he had him and a buddy has carved some butternut and and he had gotten some butternut that was green and he said it was just wonderful to carve you know so you learn I'll tell you when you talk to other carvers you learn so many tips and things that go on and uh, Alan is not I'm gonna tell you something Alan and Gene Webb both of them are I call personal friends in Tennessee and I'm gonna tell you something about both of them they, when I meet a carver, you know, I, we meet all kinds of carvers, okay? We do. And, and, and my uh, tra travels, I meet a lot of carvers when I can. And one of the things I look to in a carver or someone who is a good carver is, are you willing to share your secrets and your techniques with the people and i'm going to tell you something folks i've met a lot of carvers that will not share things with other carvers they just kind of tight-lipped about things and they just won't share and that tells me that and i don't mean share your ideas i don't mean give people your designs that's not what i'm talking about folks i'm talking about a willing to share the uh little things with carvers like you know like what uh gene told me about using uh butternut green and stuff like that there's just certain things that when i meet a carver and gene and alan are both like that they they're not they're willing they're willing to help you they're willing to share gene teaches classes all right there you go we're, we're getting that down um to a peg leg here okay all right well we've got that down and we're going to bring this down in here of course to uh but we'll get off that for a minute and kind of work on this okay now now let's Let's kind of get our arms down here and uh, but he already you kind of see the design of where the arm is in other words and let's kind of remove that wood in there See that? Kind of removing that wood in there around that arm. Just like that. Now I'm going to kind of come up here and just sort of draw that right in there where that arm's going to come. Just kind of move some of that wood in there. Give us a general idea of where I want that 
top of that arm to be. Just like that in there. See that? Okay. And the same thing over here. But what I'm going to do, and with one of these arms, is I'm going to make the hand a little bit bigger, and I'm going to cut me a little sword and put in it, okay? It's probably going to be this hand right here, so I'm going to allow a little bit more for the hand itself, in other words. So I can slip a, a, a little sword in it. Now you can put these in the pockets, you can do whatever you want to do. I'm going to bring them outside. I mean outside of the, the body is what I'm referring to. See that? And let me go ahead and draw this. I'm just going to kind of draw that like that and up like that. Get this kind of swinging on its way. There. Just like that. Okay, let me kind of work on this arm just a little bit, work some more on it. like that. Now like I said, I'm going I'm to kind of deepen this hand right here because I want to slip a little knife or sword in his hand. 